a bit better, but but no, no, I've been very. Uh, I got a call from him, of course, uh, when he um, the night before the uh, maybe the day they signed or the night before the the, the uh, press conference, which was that was that was very kind, very kind, and so I've gotten to know Mitch Rails uh, probably even more. Uh, of course, I've known Magic for 30 years, been on the phone with him and uh, Will Bond and a bunch of us kind of welcomed him and Cookie at a little small event. But so, uh, so no, I, I'm very impressed with the with the ownership, uh, and uh, I, I like to be a part of it, you know, some level, you know, and that, that that's to be seen. But yeah, that's uh, yeah, I'm happy about that. Probably wouldn't be here otherwise. What about the next stadium? You want to go to RFK? You think that's the must? Or you want to have it out by you? You trying to get me to say some stuff that you just go? Daryl Green said, "No, no, no. Just... <laughs> anybody with half a brain that is." Over forty-five. Okay, that's the right line. Sure, want to go to RFK. Now, if they last stand, uh, whatever, then I age or whatever. Then they want to go wherever they want to go. But if you, if you drunk the water at RFK Stadium, you want to go to RFK Stadium. That's just me. That's if you drank the water at RFK Stadium, you're puking and you're dead. Probably, really. <laughs> well, you know, yes. you know what I mean. Oh, yes. The Potomac? You just go down to the Potomac, take a drink? <laughs> yeah, you drunk out of the Potomac. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You said it's been a, a while, right? Yeah. 20 years since you've kind of been back. What do you think? Will there be emotion when you go down there? And Because and when the crowd sees you, it's going to be a whole yeah. different ballgame. You know what? I don't really know. I, and I hadn't thought about that. I had thought about that part. You asked me that, and I talked about just where I am. But you're right; I haven't been down there, like, like what it potentially could be. Mm-hmm. But I, I, no, I hadn't thought about that until you just said that. Because I'm not seeing myself. I wouldn't see myself in that context. Mm-hmm. I would just see myself in coming to the game. Right. But I, you, you just reminded me. I'm actually going to be down on the field. But I don't even know what they're doing. Truthfully told, so I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But most likely. If you can remember, who was there at my last game, after the game? We were out there about 30, 40, yeah. whatever. Mm. I don't expect it to be that. Of course, they got a game to play. I don't even know when it is. Is it before the game, after the game, halftime? Before the game. It's before the game. So it's going to probably be different because it's going to be all the people won't be here probably. So, yeah, I think we'll get we'll get through that fine. So all the Eagle fans will boo you. That's what you're going to get. Yeah, if we get that, it's going to be a problem. <laughs> 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 I don't think the Eagles fans got you know people like me people like me Cowboy fans like me yes I think they do you think they do <laughs> yeah they said they said they do two of them did two <laughs> and like you're chasing down Dorset. <laughs> yeah well you, you know what is funny <laughs> off the off the off the beat path Tony Dorset is one of my closest friends my wife his wife and I are very close really? we're going to we're going to Texas next week to do an event and we just got back from New Mexico. So it's funny y'all saying this. Tony Dorsett has become one of my best buddies. I always loved him, you know, when I was a kid watching mm-hmm. him a little bit before I got here. But uh, I think he was drafted in 78. Yes. And I got, I graduated high school. In, I'm sorry, he was drafted in 70. 77, 78. 76 or 7. Yeah. I graduated high school in 78. So I was a fan of his. So to chase him down was not, it was exciting but you know, kind of Paul Harvey, the rest of the story. Mm-hmm. When I when I got in that game, I wanted to get Drew Pearson's autograph. I never told y'all that. He was my guy too. Until until Wednesday. Now Monday, see they told me I was gonna start on that Monday. I was okay. a rookie. Monday, Tuesday, then Wednesday. I hated Drew Pearson because they had just back then. See, we don't have we don't have that bucket that you dunk you into that you become a Redskin a, a commander. They don't, see, I was like, man, I want my autograph, man. That's Monday. Man, I want my autograph. I come up, huh, I still want my autograph. Wednesday, I don't want my autograph. And I never met him, talked to him or anything until he got in the Hall of Fame last year. And I got an autograph from him and I told him the story. But back then, you didn't want no autograph from nobody, from no Cowboys for sure. But I've been out of football a long time. Me and Tony Dorsett are best buddies. And our wife's the best buddies. and going on vacation together. So that's just that's the way the world goes. When he hears the story of you catching him, does his eyes roll in the back of his head at that point? Yeah, he doesn't like that. <laughs> and the reality is I don't either. Because I like him. And I, and, and listen. But it's a football play. But here was the thing. 
I was standing on his shoulders. If I would have caught you, I mean, nothing wrong point. You know, yeah, but I mean, careful. I mean, it wouldn't really. I mean, so yes. I, I never dog a guy who I'm standing on his shoulders, riding on. You know, I, I broke his record. Well, he had a record to be broken. I'm not. I mean, how do I belittle him? So I never really belittled him in that sense. But I don't think Tony liked that. And well, I, I, I try to acknowledge and honor him for saying, "Hey, you gave me a chance." That my son said this. He said, "Dad, what player has a play that goes with his whole life for 40 years?" <laughs> On their first first game, yeah, not many, and I was and I always hated it and despised it because I was always mad that y'all said I was fast when I was steady shutting guys down and y'all didn't mention that I could cover. Like, dude, I can cover. Y'all said, man, he's fast. Man, I can cover. I'm, so I got in the Hall of Fame because I could cover. Well, plus I was fast. <laughs> are, there, are there quarterbacks you really enjoy watching now? Uh, no, I I don't, I don't know any. I haven't seen many quarterbacks. But we're going to watch Forbes. I think we're going to watch Forbes. And I'm going to say I, that's who I like watching now. Right. If Thanks, it happens, Tim. it's going to work out. Cool. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thanks.